Hello, welcome to Spitfire Mods. Um, today we're going to be doing a complete reball process on the uh, Xbox CPU and GPU. Um, we're going to walk through reballing the GPU and the CPU. This is just a scrap board, but um, it's going to be used for demonstration purposes. So first we're going to um, remove the uh, epoxy that's along the sides of the CPU and GPU. Um, just by using a small tipped exacto knife. So we're going to work up that mounting, uh, the mounting epoxy that comes on some of these boards. Um, that's our first step. And uh, after this, we're going to go over and uh, Preheat our boards and lift these chips off. So, um, there's not much to say here, just uh, prep your board. Um, we'll probably clean up the chips before we do anything, and uh, you know, all I'm doing is removing these adhesion strips that come on some of these Xbox boards. Okay, so now we're um now we're going to continue to clean up our chips and get them prepped for reballing. So I like to, um, if reballing the chips, it's best to uh, clean them up as much as possible. Um, some of this compound comes off, you know, kind of like hard play-doh. So using a plastic spudging tool, you can uh, you can usually scrape up most of it and then just clean the excess excess off with uh, with some alcohol or you know MEK or whatever you guys choose to use for your cleaning process um, I don't like to put too much stuff on there to disturb the chips but when reballing you're gonna definitely be disturbing the chips so uh, I don't know I, I feel it's always best to keep it at a minimum but um you know you gotta use what you're comfortable with and what works for you so uh, that's that, and we're gonna swab these up a little bit. And like I was saying uh, earlier, this video is gonna be the complete process, so it'll probably be a few parts, a few part video. Um, basically, our tutorial for reballing um, CPU and GPU chips. So uh, bear with us here. It's gonna be a long, long, boring video, but. It's supposed to help um, help with the entire process. Um, some of the big things we're going to be covering is, you know, preheating. You know, preheating is very important when reballing. Um, if you don't preheat properly, your chips will not release properly, and then you will uh, you'll have some pad problems. So we're going to be trying to get some nice shiny, uh, nice shiny pads, nice shiny solder balls, and. Uh, Hopefully, have a nice professional, nice looking job when we're done. So again, the video is going to get a little bit long. I'm going to probably shut off the tape here because you don't need to watch all of this. But um, basically, cleaned off the uh, cleaned off the um, excess compound, and then we're going to scrub the chips clean on the top surfaces with some q-tips and a little bit of cleaning uh, alcohol, 90% uh, alcohol, or whatever it is that you're comfortable with using as you're cleaning. So uh, we'll finish this up and then we'll join you over at the preheating table. Okay so again um, this is a video a continuing a series here on harvesting our CPU and GPU. So we're going to put a little flux on this board. Prior to removing them. And that should be plenty. And then uh, we're going to get them on there, get them preheated. 
Uh, again, heat settings you can get direct from us. Um, if you're one of our customers, feel free to contact us. And we have uh, day and night support for you guys um, to call us anytime if you're having any problems. Next, we're going to put this, we're going to take this board now and put it on the preheater. Okay, so we've been on the preheater. We're almost finished our preheat. Uh, we've been on a good seven minutes, so our board should be pretty much all set. So, um, we're going to be just about ready to start the overhead and then um, get ready to pour our chips.